Hey everybody, what's up? This is Joe Baker with the Edit Bay, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at using difference clouds to create realistic looking fog in Photoshop. So this is basically what we're going to end up with. And let me show you what I started with here. So this is the shot as I took it with just some basic raw processing. I took it into uh, the Nick Collections Color Effects Pro 4, which has an, uh, an effect in there called Fog, which basically allows you to decrease the contrast and add a bit of a haze um, to wherever you'd like in the image. It's got these control points and you can just control where they go. So now this is really driving the look. This is kind of the base. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to be adding this difference clouds layer. So let me show you how to do that. Let's come down here and create a new layer. And I'll rename this and just call it fog. Now, in order for this to work, if I left this layer empty and I came up here to filter, render, difference clouds, I would be met with this error message. This layer is empty. So in order to get this to work properly, we're going to apply a quick mask, which we can do by selecting this. You can also hit Q. Now if we come up to Filter, Render, Difference Clouds, you'll get this crazy looking red overlay, which is fine. Because if you come over here and simply turn off this quick mask, it'll create a selection that resembles fog. Now, we have these kind of patchy selections right here that we can now fill with white. So if we hit Shift F5, we can come up here, fill this with white, select OK. And now we can hit Control D to deselect that mask, and here is our fog. Now it's on its own layer. We can always add a layer mask to this and paint it in wherever we'd like. We can also reshape this. So if we just select the uh, layer, hit Control T, and we can move this around, stretch it out, do whatever we need to do with it. This is going to look a little bit more realistic because fog is patchy like this. We have some dark spots, we have white spots. It looks mistier, it looks uh, noisier, so to speak as opposed to grabbing a brush and just painting on white and lowering the opacity, um, this will look a little bit more realistic. So we'll go ahead and shape this. However, I think it might work. Now bear in mind, whenever you're trying to composite fog like this in CGI, you gotta think three-dimensionally. This is a two-dimensional image, but we do wanna make it look like there is some depth to it. So the closer to the camera, the less apparent the fog would be. So now with my layer mask selected, in fact, I think I'm gonna invert this. I'll hit Control I, select my brush tool. Uh, we'll go up on opacity. We can always lower the opacity on the layer itself if we want, but we'll go ahead and just kind of start to paint this in. Definitely want the building to look foggy. Let me reduce the opacity on this one over here. Let's paint some into the background. By the way, to adjust the size of the brush, if you hold down the Alt key and uh, right click on your mouse, you can actually adjust both the size and the opacity. Quick tip. Okay, so here's that three dimensionality I was talk talking to you guys about. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my default colors by hitting X on the keyboard. I'm gonna reduce my opacity and soften up this brush a little bit and try to reduce a little bit on the, the rails of this. That way it looks like it's gradually coming towards us here. Cool. Now, let's drop the opacity on the layer itself, make this a little bit more realistic. All right. So I'm kind of doing this in layers. I'm going to select the uh, mask again, hit X, whoops, excuse me, hit B for brush. And I'm going to crank up the opacity here, because as we get further back in Z space, we do want this to be a little bit more intense. I think I also put a building fog layer up here. That works okay. Bridge. 
And the bridge I'm going to add a layer mask to. Flip that around. Just try to get back here. All right. Definitely do not forget to dodge and burn your images. It's a very important step. Go ahead and turn on this right here. It'll kind of draw the focus where it's supposed to be. All right, so a quick recap. Get your image to where you want. Do your basic processing. Come down, create a new layer. You can name this layer whatever you'd like. In order to be able to apply a difference mask to this empty layer, we'll have to turn on Quick Mask. Go to Filter, Render, Difference Clouds. Now, in order to be able to fill this selection with white, we're just going to turn off this mask, which will automatically, you know, create your selection. Hit Shift F5, fill it with white. Hit Control D to deselect your your marching ants right there, and you've got your difference clouds. This layer can be transformed, it can be warped. You can do pretty much whatever you need to do with it in order to create realistic looking fog in Photoshop. All right, folks, I hope you found this quick tip useful. By the way, if you're in the video world, you can create a similar effect to this using the fractal noise effect in After Effects. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please consider subscribing to the Edit Bay. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the box below. I'll see you next time.